What's up, YouTube peeps? Coming at you live from my voiceover booth. But today is Tuesday, so I am filming my YouTube video of the week. And it also happens to be the day of my very first voiceover gig. So I can't tell you what it is yet, but I'm taking you guys along with me. And I'm not going to film in the booth or anything, but I'm going to give you the whole recap and everything. I actually took a ADR class a few weeks ago. And the gig today is, in fact, ADR. So I feel like I manifested it low-key. Oh my god, you got your vlog camera out? You're doing a vlog? Yeah, I'm doing a voice actor uh, diaries vlog. <gasps> wow! This is just the beginning. Day one, baby, day one. <laughs> For B-roll. You know I got my humidifier always. Oh, honey. I have no idea what to expect today. I'm really excited, but I'm also nervous. So I wore soft clothes and hopefully there'll be no rustling. And I'm gonna try not to move a lot because I move a lot when I talk. We go into the penthouse. Say less. We gonna be in a penthouse, y'all. What is going on here? I'm so excited. Like, what the fuck? I am honestly so tired. <laughs> Oh my god. I have another session tomorrow, so I feel like I'll just fill you guys in on everything after tomorrow's session, but it went well. My voice is a little bit tired, but like it doesn't hurt or anything, so I think that's like normal. I can't believe I just did my first voiceover gig. And now I'm winding down with some YouTube videos. I have a podcast interview in literally like 30 minutes, which was a mistake. I'm not taking any more podcast interviews past 5 p.m. I okay, will talk to you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be the last session. It's gonna be like we have like a six, no, no, no. We have like 2.30 to six blocked off. It's gonna be after my Japanese class, but I don't think we're gonna need all that time. So afterwards I'll come back home and I'll like fill you guys in on everything that happened. Good morning. Okay, y'all, we are here for day two. Today I'm not wearing makeup because I feel like I was being a tryhard yesterday, so we're not gonna do that. First, I have my Japanese class, so I'm gonna head over there to the Japan Society, and then right after, I'm gonna like walk 10 minutes and be at the recording studio. So, let's go. craving a bond me like I did not even want sushi right now but this was the only thing like I could just grab and go so this is what we're eating before class. I'm getting way more used to just like filming in public because I don't know it's a form of like rejection therapy and to be honest nobody cares in New York nobody cares what anyone is doing and they try to avoid crazy people so stop by the office to let them know I'm going to Japan and to like make makeup classes and they made fun of my email they're like you're toast marshmallow so my agents just messaged me and apparently they needed me to come in on Monday but I'm like watch me try to get everything done today It is officially two days? Wait, no, when was that? Was that? Today is Friday. We did end up scheduling another session for next Tuesday. Just got an email. <gasps> Yay! My acting teacher just emailed our class that he got a job. Well, he got an acting job. I'm trying to get like him. Now, as promised, I'm gonna tell you guys everything. I'm gonna tell you how I got my agents, a little bit about my background, and then we're gonna go into details about the session. If you're ready, hit that like and subscribe button because there will be more voice acting vlogs 
I take a lot of voice acting classes and the number one question I swear is how did you get your agents? How do I get my agents? Where do you look for agents? For those of you who don't know, I actually went to school for musical theater and we have a showcase at the end of our four years. Our showcase got postponed because of COVID. So I ended up doing this online showcase, which is how I got my agents. There are many online showcases like that. I don't know about voice acting specifically, but for acting in general. So I recommend doing those showcases, classes. If they have classes with agents, I recommend taking that. So I am with CESC Talent New York. New York office, okay? Don't get it confused. Two weeks before I booked this thing, I took an amazing ADR class from Twitter. I found it on Twitter, y'all. That really set me up for this gig because this whole gig was ADR. So if I didn't take this class, I don't know what I would have done. All the time coding and how the script was gonna look, I wasn't prepared for that. What running wild means, I didn't know none of that until I took that class. So I highly recommend that class. I will put Jose's Twitter in my YouTube so you can go take his class if you want. He's an engineer with Crunchyroll, so especially if you're trying to get into like anime voice acting, definitely go there. I also really feel like I manifested it. Like, what is the odds of me taking an ADR class and then my my first gig being ADR. Okay, moving on to the audition. So for the audition, it was another regular day, you know, just busting through auditions. When it came to voice acting auditions, I was putting them off till last minute. I think I submitted this audition maybe the same hour that it was due. And originally, and this is why it's important to go back and read your email, I did the audition wrong. So I was auditioning for two characters and I put them all in one file and I basically mixed up the line so it was like the scene with themselves because the two characters were in the same scene. And so I just made it so like the lines matched up and I recorded them in two separate like slots in Audacity or whatever, but that was wrong. They wanted two separate files. So make sure you go back and read your auditions because if I didn't go back and read that audition, I would not be here today. And this audition also had a small singing portion, but they didn't even have like the music with it. So I just kind of made it up, which I thought was fun. And then two weeks later, when I was outside of the Museum of Broadway following a callback I had for a musical, I got the email from my agents that I booked it and I was screaming and I was so happy and I was with my best friend, shout out to Charles. And so I got to share that moment with them, which was really cool. And then I like called my mom and I was like, mom, I got my first voiceover again. So yeah, it took about two weeks after I auditioned to hear back. Now let's go into prep. So the night before I actually went to a movie screen. So right after the movie, I left because my roommate got locked out and then I was stressed because she didn't have her phone and I really wanted to get to bed early that night, but I was stressed, my adrenaline was going. So I didn't go to bed until like maybe 11 midnight. Luckily my session didn't start until noon. So I still got at least eight hours of sleep. I slept over my boyfriends that night, but I left early enough so that I could go back home, eat, shower, do all the things, warm up my voice. I also listened back to my audition so I could remember what voices I did because I be doing some crazy stuff in these auditions and I don't even remember. Y'all saw the whole process of me getting to the studio and everything. What you didn't see is that I actually met the owner of the studio. So I met Pullman himself and that was really cool. They literally recorded Ice Age there. That is a 40 year studio. I just felt the history of the place and just the impact that it had. And that's when it really sunk into me that this was like kind of a big deal. So then I got into the session and I met the team that cast me and they were like, your audition was so good. And we cast you because of this, this, that, and you like your voice and yada yada. I was like, oh my God, thank you. They said they I really like that I made the two voices very different, completely opposite. In terms of the process, so it was ADR, so basically they had the thing on the screen and they did have somebody saying the lines. So they already kind of timed out where the lines needed to go and I kind of needed to mimic the timing of the line that was said. But they also didn't want me to mimic it exactly because they wanted me to be able to act with it. So we changed some things up. And sometimes what I did was actually better than what the, what they call it, the, the scratch? Scratch, I guess that's the scratch recording, I don't know. We would basically go time code by time code and I would say the line and then I would just say it like three times and the director would like shake their head on the one they really liked and then tell the engineer, oh yeah, I like that one. And that's kind of how we picked it. I would do three to five takes, but really I think next time I'm just gonna do three very specific separate takes, like very different so that they have a good choice. And then if they need me to do it again, they can just ask, but I feel like I probably wasted a little bit of time doing five takes instead of like just three up front. So, but after the first session, they actually texted my agents and said, wow, we got through so much stuff today. She's really good at this. And I was just like, oh, I thought I was gonna crash and burn in there. One thing that really took me off guard though is just the amount of work. Y'all, like voice acting is not easy. My voice was tired after because I had to go through the whole script of an episode of my one character and then I had to go through the whole script again as the other character. So it was just like, it was like basically recording 12 episodes. Like it was wild. And then yeah, and then the second session we had to do uh, the last two scripts 
and then we also had to do the three songs I had to record and luckily I'm a trained musician so that took like 15 minutes we had to film some shorts so not film we had to record some shorts we have one more session on Tuesday we only have two more shorts left I believe unless they have something else to add I have definitely learned so much with this experience like shout out to engineers y'all engineers do the most work like when I tell you this man, he really had to go in there and do surgery on some of these lines and I felt so bad. Anyway, like I said, I'm not really one to give advice about voice acting because I'm a baby voice actor myself, but if you want to follow my other socials, I do post classes on there that I be taking, uh, especially on my Twitter. So check that out and make sure you guys stay subscribed and just hang out here. We're going to be following my journey. I want to talk to y'all in the comments. Let me know where you are in your voice acting journey and I cannot wait to see you guys next week. I am posting every Sunday, even though I record my videos on Tuesday. Uh, so yeah, I will see you guys next Sunday. Peace.